The predominant way to interact with smartphones is one-handed, using the thumb for touch input. Since their introduction, however, smartphone touchscreens have kept growing in size, with current models often moving beyond the 5-inch mark. This means that users cannot comfortably reach all targets on the screen anymore without destabilizing their grip. Here is an example. The user points his smartphone camera to take a live photo. However, to enable the live mode, the user has to tap at the top of the screen. This destabilizes his device grip such that the user must point the camera again. We present Forceray, an interaction technique that solves such reachability issues using force input. To aim at a distant target, the user applies a force touch to cast a virtual ray towards that target. Lifting the thumb selects it. Note that throughout the interaction, the camera position stays in place. Here's another example with many targets. The user wants to select a couple of pictures from the top rows. Since there are multiple targets crossed by the ray, the user can discriminate them by controlling the red cursor via force. The more force is applied, the further the cursor moves along the ray. When the desired target is highlighted, the user lifts the thumb to select it. Some key benefits of force ray are, it addresses switchability issues for both width and height of the touchscreen. Furthermore, the selection task is reduced to a subset of targets once the ray is placed. Also, targets at edges and corners can be selected very quickly. The user simply applies as much force as possible and then lifts his finger. To evaluate Forceway, we conducted two user studies. The first study tested Forceway against direct touch input and other reachability techniques. The one-handed mode downscales the UI and moves it closer to the thumb with a double tap, but small targets become difficult to hit precisely. Magstick controls a cursor that moves in the opposite direction of the thumb, but for large touchscreens, the thumb must still be stretched to reach far targets. Bezel Cursor controls a cursor through swiping from the screen bezel. However, this gesture is often already used for system-wide control, and upper targets can often only be comfortably reached by tilting the device. Compared to all other techniques, Forceway causes significantly less device movement, letting users maintain a steady device grip and removing their concerns about device drops. However, users were 195 milliseconds slower with Forceway compared to Bezel Cursor, the fastest reachability technique. Since our participants were not familiar with force input, we let users train Forceway for about an hour alongside with Bezel Cursor. The second study showed that trained users became faster in selecting targets. In particular, Forceway was as fast as Bezel Cursor for selecting targets at the screen border. In summary, Forceway lets users select out-of-reach targets on mobile devices using force input. This interaction technique causes significantly less device movement and enables users to maintain a steady device grip, removing their concerns about device drops. We conclude our paper with guidelines to address reachability issues for one-handed touchscreen use.